the the topic, the subject is the black hats. Um, and and uh, the black hat of the Karmapa is probably the most famous of the black hats. And I bring up this topic because some viewers of the Himalayan Art Resources website uh, believe I didn't spend enough time on that subject. So we'll just talk a little bit about the black hat. Now, there are many different teachers in uh, the Tibetan tradition and um, um, the, the Chinese Lama's tradition and Mongolian tradition that, that wear black hat. Karmapa is just the most famous. And there's even a, 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 a myth, an origin myth, that the, the first Karmapa received uh, a black hat from a host of Dakinis. And these Dakinis wove the hat out of their own hair. And this hat is invisible except to those people with a very high Buddhist uh, realization. So that's the origin myth. In, in fact, we, we know that uh, there was a, a, a black hat that was given to uh, the fifth Karmapa by the Yungla Emperor in the uh, beginning of the 15th century. And this is said to be the first uh, black hat of the Karmapas. It's visible to everybody. Uh, this actually is not true because we actually have paintings of the second Karmapa, Karmapakshi, which are, are uh, contemporary with his time period, where he is, he is shown wearing a black cap uh, in the style of a Chinese um, or Mongolian court minister's hat. Uh, also, popular with the Tangut or the Shisha uh, people of northern uh, and northwestern uh, China. So we have different origin stories. The Mongolians actually, in, in some of their narratives, claim to have given the first black hat to the Karmapa. Uh, the Shisha also hold to that. Uh, the Karmakagi school itself claims that the first black hat was a gift of the Yungla emperor. But art history says something else. Art history says that no, uh, uh, the Karmapas from the second Karmapa for sure uh, was uh, often depicted wearing a black hat and we have the painting examples. But there are others. We have the the first and the fourth uh, Tai Situ also wore a black hat uh, similar to the black hat of the Karmapa. We have Dorji Lingpa of the Nyingma uh, wearing a black hat uh, bluish, bluish black. Um, we have others, Jatsun Nyingpo, Terdok Lingpa, uh, the Jetsun Dampa, uh, Jetsun Dampa of, of Mongolia, uh, not the Taranata incarnations of, of central Tibet. Then we also have uh, Chankya Rolpe Dorje and, uh, and whatnot. But if we go back to, to Shaki Yeshe, uh, the founder of Sera Monastery, he also received a black hat from the, uh, from the Chinese emperor, the Yungla emperor, um, just uh, shortly after the Karmapa received a black hat. So, so the black hat is not completely unique, although uh, the black hat of the Karmapa is uh, the most famous because it has uh, more mythology to it, and it has a, a, an origin myth. And then there are also rituals that the Karmapa performs to, to display the black hat to the general public um, in a kind of an auspicious way that, that also uh, um, encompasses and, uh, the, the narrative uh, story, the origin myth. So, so that's one reason why that is so famous, but there are many other black hats uh, that are worn by different teachers uh, of Tibet, Mongolia, and China.